Welcome to RB Vlogs for everything. Please watch and subscribe, like and share. To improve our creativity, let's start. Mendicancy is the practice of begging. As for alms, it is the state or condition of being a beggar. Mendicants are people who live by begging. They may be homeless or destitute, or they may be religious figures who have taken a vow of poverty. Some examples of mendicancy include A person standing on the street corner with a sign asking for money. A monk or nun who goes door to door asking for donations. A child who begs for food or money in a restaurant or store. The necessity of mendicancy. Now to return to the question of mendicancy. A question may arise in the minds of some that if Baba was such a great personage, God in fact, why should he have recourse to the begging bowl, all his lifetime? This question may be considered and replied from two standpoints. One, who are the fit persons, who have a right to live by the begging bowl? Our Shastras say that those persons, who, getting rid of, or becoming free from the three main desires, with his firm conviction was that the universe was his home, he was the Lord Vasudeva, the supporter of the universe and the imperishable Brahman. So he had the full right to have recourse to the begging ball now from the standpoint of 1. Pachasun, 5. Sins and their atonement. We all know that in order to prepare foodstuffs and meals, the householders have to go through five actions or process. 2. Kandani pounding. 3. Peshani grinding. 4. Udkumbi, washing pots. 5. Majani, sweeping and cleaning. 6. Chuli lighting hulls. These processes involve destruction of a lot of small insects and creatures and thus the householders incur a lot of sin, in order to atone for this sin. 1. For progeny. 2. For wealth. 3. For fame, except sannyas, are the fit persons to live by begging alms. They cannot make cooking arrangements and dine at home. The duty of feeding them rests on the shoulders of householders. Sai Baba was neither a householder nor Vanaprastha. He was a celibate sannyasi, i.e., sannyasi from boyhood. Ashastras prescribe five kinds of sacrifices, with 1. Brahmayajna 2. Vedagyan, offerings to Brahman or the study of the Vedas 3. Pitrayajna offerings to the ancestors 4. Devayajna Offerings to the gods. 5. Bhutayachna offerings to the beings. 6. Manumshyatityachna offerings to men or uninvited. If these sacrifices, enjoined by the Shastras are duly performed, the purification of their minds is effected and this helps them to get knowledge and self-realization. Baba, in going from house to house, reminded the inmates of their sacred duty. And fortunate were the people who got the lesson at their homes from Baba. Please subscribe, like and share. RB Vlogs for everything. Follow on blog, Facebook and Instagram for help us to improve our creativity.